Former Senator Chuck Hagel is President Obama's pick to head the Department of Defense, taking over for the departing Leon Panetta. But even though he's a Republican, and Obama reached across the aisle and is showing compromise by putting a Republican in that role, which is the same thing he did by keeping Bob Gates, who was Bush's Secretary of Defense, on for a lot of his first term. Gates is a Republican as well. The vast majority of the Republican Party is against Hagel because they don't believe he's conservative enough or hawkish enough. But that's why I want him to be Secretary of Defense. He would be the first person of enlisted rank to head the Department of Defense, which is a staggering thought. You'd think there would have been other people uh, who, who were kind of grunts in the military serving in that role, but that wouldn't. that's not the case. Hegel would be the first, and so that's one of the main reasons why I want him to be secretary, because he understands the plight of the soldier. He knows what it is, how, how difficult a decision it is to send people into war, and he knows the, 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 the toll it takes not only on the soldiers, but on the, the civilian population of the places where you're fighting. And so that's a really important thing to have as the top of that position. It would be an in, extremely important shift in terms of just compared to the past secretaries we've had. He is a decorated Vietnam War veteran. He has two Purple Hearts, and he'd be one of the only secretaries to have been wounded in combat. And last but not least, the reason of nuclear weapons. He supports the Global Zero Movement, which aims to rid the world of nuclear weapons. He's taken flack for this. He'll take flack for this in his confirmation hearing. But he's not calling for unilateral disarmament by the United States. He wants, going forward, the U.S. and Russia to significantly phase out their nuclear weapons and eventually, someday down the line, have no more nuclear weapons because those were the weapons of the Cold War. And in the 21st century, the more nukes you have out there, the more chances they could be sold to a rogue state or picked up to a non picked up by a non-state actor like a terrorist organization like Al-Qaeda and used against uh, a populated city. And that's something that both Hegel and Obama have in common. They both aim to rid the world of nuclear weapons, even though Obama's acknowledged that it's probably not going to happen in his lifetime. They did develop a bond on this issue when they served in the Senate together for a few years before Hegel left in 2007. So they traveled the world a bit. They know each other as men, which is one of the reasons why Obama is comfortable appointing a Republican like Hegel there, because they have a friendship. And he knows that Hegel has the credibility of the military because he's a decorated combat veteran and a highly respected elected official serving in the Senate for uh, about a decade. So he's got the chops to do this job, and he would, but he would also signal to the world and to, to the rest of the country that it's time to look at the military in a different way heading into the 21st century. And Chuck Hagel would be the perfect person, given his Republican stature, to lead that department through the changes that it needs to make to be a, a lean, mean fighting force in the 21st century coming from the big just kind of gargantuan force that the US military has been for the last 50 years.